Display customer item purchases. PTF 12559 adds a state filter. That option is available under work with orders current and work with orders from history uh, by pressing an F8. Let's take a look at that. So let's hop over to there. We'll look at uh, current orders just as an example. It does work from history as well. If you press F8, been in the system a long time for searching. So let's say, uh, well, I'll just grab any one of these items here and drill in with the five. And then if the new entry is state as a filter, two character state abbreviation. So if I want to say, show me people in Mississippi that have purchased this, those would be Mississippi customers. So I want to do Louisiana. Just another way to narrow down that search when you're looking for uh, particular things. It might be products that shipped out. Maybe they were weren't allowed to go in that state, maybe you didn't catch it in time, but it could be any variety of reasons that uh, we had request to add state as an additional filter to this function. If I press F3 and go back, it uh, should be the very same over under work with order history. Now we're just looking at historical orders instead of things that are in the current order file, so do a 5 to display over and take a look at the state. Let's see if we can find anything from Kentucky. I doubt it. It's going to look across a lot of records, so that might have not been my best choice to make. Uh, but anyway, you get the idea. So ways to filter by state on the display customers who purchased an item when you're looking at things. Hey, my screen came back. So no, no Kentucky in there. Let's try uh, Mississippi. So pretty good amount of data we're going across there in the uh, history file. Response time is uh, pretty decent on that, and that's uh, what's involved in display customers who purchased an item.